Shalom, and welcome back to A Storytelling God's Love. I'm here to share a message of love, obedience, and the journey we all undertake in our spiritual lives. In the book of Exodus, we read the incredible journey of the Israelites, led by Moses, from the land of Egypt to the Promised Land, a journey that took them 40 years. Yes, you heard right, 40 long years, Exodus 13 verses 17 to 18. But, if we dig a little deeper, we discover that the distance between Egypt and Canaan could have been traversed in as few as 11 days on foot, Deuteronomy 1 verse 2. So why 40 years? It's because the journey wasn't just physical, it was spiritual. Their disobedience, murmuring, and lack of faith in God's promises led them to wander in the wilderness for four decades, Numbers 14 35 In many ways, aren't we all like the Israelites? We have a promised land waiting for us, a life of peace, joy, and closeness with God. But our disobedience, our distrust, our refusal to submit to God's will, causes us to wander in our own spiritual wilderness. Yet, even in their disobedience, God remained faithful. He provided for the Israelites, guiding them by day with a pillar of cloud, and by night with a pillar of fire, Exodus 13 verses 21 to 22. And in his time, he brought them to the promised land. Similarly, God remains faithful to us. Even in our disobedience, he waits patiently for us, always ready to guide us back to the path of righteousness, 2 Peter 3 verse 9. Let's remember the journey of the Israelites. Let's strive to be obedient to God, to trust in his promises, to submit to his will. In doing so, we can avoid years of unnecessary wandering and reach our own promised land much sooner. So I implore you, let us learn from the past. Let us trust and obey, for there's no other way, to be happy in Jesus, John 14 verse 15. Let's cut our wandering down from 40 years to 11 days. Seek him, obey him, trust him, and he will lead you to your promised land. Thank you for joining me today on a storytelling God's love. May your journey always lead you closer to God. Until next time, Shalom. Feel free to like, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.